I'd rather bleed than concede. Now they saying something, these niggas cunning. They want my power, they never take it from me. Hey, for that money, I heard you assisting. I can't go out like that, they'll have their 86 me. We are the Israelite School of the Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under the amazing commanding General Your Honor. And since 1969, we've been telling blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we are the true chosen people according to the scriptures, man. According to the Bible. We are the Jews that, 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 that this Bible speaks of. The Israelites. This whole hold this Bible up. Uh, this whole Bible is about Israelites. It's about wars and captivities that the Israelites had to go through since time, since since 5,000 plus years ago. And we are those chosen people that this Bible speaks of. Right. This Bible is about us, man. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And let me tell you something. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. And, he, that, and when I say devil, I'm not talking about monstrous being or, or an evil man, though. although that he, he does portray evil things, but devil means deceiver. The white man deceived you, black man, Hispanic man, Native American man. He deceived you into thinking that the greatest man to ever walk this earth, Christ, Yahweh, Mashiach in the Hebrew, was a white man, a white stringy-haired man. That, that white man that you see in, in your Christian church, that's, that's Caesar for year. That's not Christ. The water, I don't want. And then this, I'm going to show you what This is not what Christ looks like. This is this is not Yahweh Mashiach. This is Caesar Borshear. The Christian church, the Christian church whitewashed, whitewashed the prophets, whitewashed Yahweh Shah, whitewashed every every all the saints. They, they they call them the saints in your church. All those when you when you go to church and you see those stained glass windows and all those white men on each window. Man, those white men were no those, those were nobody. The, this Bible is about blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. I'm going to prove it to you. Let me get the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. Because the white man is such the devil. This is a war tactic. You need to understand. If, if, our, if, if the children of Yasha Allah are growing up to become priests and righteous men of the Lord, then he has a lot to worry about. That's why he's going to whitewash the, 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 the prophets and whitewash the, the face of the, the most... The, 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 the most righteous man that ever walked this earth, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, Jesus Christ in the English. You got that? Yeah. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. With the garment down to the fullest. Let me give you some, some pretext, some pre-context about this scripture. This is John the Revelator having a vision about Judgment Day, the return of Christ. I know you heard about it. This is the return of Christ. And this is what the, the return of Christ looked like in this in this vision. Keep going. And girth about the path with a golden girdle. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Hold on. His head and his hair were stringy like, like Caesar Borgir. Were white like wool. That means he had a white afro. This this is what this is what the Christ looks like. He, his head and his hair, his beard and his hair were white like wool. Wool is curly, curly hair. Not that stringy hair that the so-called white man got. Keep going. Come as white as snow. And his eyes as a flame of fire. Verse 15. And his feet like unto brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said his eyes were red like fire. His feet were like brass burned unto the furnace. And his voice was like the multitude. I don't know what about, about you, but that sounded like a black man to me. That sounded like that sounded like his, his skin was the color of burnt brass, which means he was a, a dark skinned derivative of brown, and his voice deep like the multitude. That that sounded like a brother to me. And his hair was like wool. Christ was a black man from the tribe of Judah. That that should that should tell you something. That that means color is something. If if if, if it doesn't matter what color Christ is, then why do they color cover it up? and make him that stringy-haired white man named Caesar Borgia. Caesar Borgia was a pedophile. The, co the color of Christ and the color of the prophets means something. 
That means you mean something. You are Yasha Allah, princes of the power. You're supposed to be a righteous and, 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 and modest and powerful people, a wise and understanding people. All of the prophets in this Bible were black, Hispanic and Native American. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?